And as I was hoping, two people chimed in on my tough cut belt and that I didn't have the flap in the correct place. I assumed it was not in the right place, but I sure couldn't figure out how to make it fit back over. Well, the over under it is a questionable thing, so we'll just talk about that here in a second. Now, Copper Creek did point out that in my service manual, there is a picture. I admit I didn't read that far. So in my lovely service manual on the tough cut, I read all about the blades and see they got the flip up procedure, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and mainly I focused on this page 23. Ha! And I was reading about the deck replacement, the tensioner, how to replace and inspect the main belt on, belt on 22. And I flipped the page and I saw on 24 that this was talking about loops. So I kind of looked at the pictures real quick and I saw they got this nice pretty blue grease gun. And that's where I was getting that I had to lube stuff up. And I didn't get to these three down here per what Insight was pointing out. I didn't get to those because I'm not strong enough to lift this thing to get to those three. So those were going to be after I got it reattached. They will be greased before I actually do anything, but I did skip them in the first video. But, looky there. I didn't notice. I paid attention to the two grease fittings, and I said, well, let me grease those. But look, it also says that the tensioner is supposed to be over top of this arm, the hydraulic cylinder, which is not... By the way, Insight, I think it's funny you used a Yeti cooler on there. I like it. That is not what I have, obviously. And I have not been able to get it to go the other way. Because I've been playing with this silly thing. Because I assumed it was supposed to go under. And I had another video where I played with this. And it just doesn't go down far enough. I mean, this tension arm just doesn't get there from here. So, that's why I assumed it had to be this way. Because then I can actually do it. But it didn't make any sense to me. And I talked about that in the other video. That this way seemed wrong as well. Because when you put this pin in. The, you know the release pin. I can't raise because of the release pin. But this arm just kind of. You know what is that stopping? Nothing. One of the comments. Oh, here comes Amazon, so let's pause. All right, Amazon's gone. We got a new product to play with. But the point of this is, let's see if we can get this lever set correctly. I don't know how that lever being set correct or incorrect has ever impacted the belt, because all that lever does is lets me raise the deck to get to the blades. And I've raised the deck once when I first got this to play with how do you do that so okay maybe that messed up the first belt twice whenever I was playing so two times I've actually used that hydraulic I'm on belt number four math doesn't work there for messing up three belts whenever I've used that hydraulic two times I know I should use it more let's not go down that road but let's try and attach this to the Ventrac because I'm assuming that uh, if I just attach the hydraulics and then extend that cylinder arm to in order, in order to be able to get these things the correct way, I'll probably break something. So let's attach it like it's supposed to be.
this is my normal. It never pushes all the way on because the thing just keeps sliding and sliding and sliding. I've tried wheel trucks, I've tried four by fours. I just struggle with this, so I get to this point where I can lift the zip top cut up. Then I go Hulk smash. Yep, Hulk smash. One side falls off, I drop it and try again. You got to get the height just right. You have to go under to get under the first lip, and then you have to raise them up to slide in that little box. First lip, box. If these arms are too low, they'll slide under the box, and then you're in trouble. If they're too high, you'll hit this, and then you're in trouble. So, I think what I need to do is make them where it's just lower than that.
make sense. This bar is going to hit the cylinder if you try to retract it. It has nothing to do with the bar lifting and keeping this. Lift the tensioner. As you try to collapse this cylinder, the bar is going to hit the edge of the cylinder and stop you. So now that we know how it's supposed to go, let's undo it so we can lift the deck and get to those zerks. So let's take a look. I'm almost afraid to look at these blades. Okay. It's actually not as bad under here as I thought. Huh. There you go. Obviously, that was not supposed to be that way. Holy cow. My guess is a rock got picked up and wedged under here, or maybe it is supposed to be that way. I mean, you see that, that blade is... I mean, it's interesting. I should have lifted this up and looked at it on day one. I guess I should also go put those safety pins under there so that I don't kill myself. Let's go do the safety pin thing. Grab the Zerk gun, a towel, and then I want these blades. They're not too unsharp, but uh, I want these blades at horizontal, vertical, horizontal, just because I like how that looks. I realized why I could never get that tension lever and the little flip arm correct. You can't fold this all the way down. You can't fully extend the piston unless there's power under the machine. So check this out. This is where I was, right? This doesn't go any lower. And that's where I've been struggling. Now let's unhook this for now. Because this won't go... Oh, dang it right because that won't go and that's been my struggle and why I've been doing this but and I can't extend it anymore right I mean we take our lever and there's no more hydraulic fluid to to release that's not going anywhere but if I take the small handled SDLA with power Check this out.
arm in the correct spot, belt going the way it needs to. Let's take the same photo. Lots of Zerks touched. Brand new belt. It hasn't spun once yet. Tensioner in the right place. Second chain link. Tension arm on top of the flapper. <laughs> Flap on. Flap off. We got to raise the deck so we can put the pins where I like them. Around here I mow high. Too many rocks.